Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. Today we will be talking about the latest update to Android 14. Now this is Android 14 Beta 4.1. So we are only one month away from the official release of Android 14. So the full official launch will be during the month of August of 2023. Today is July 28th and this update here of Android 14 4.1 was pushed off on July 26, which was two days ago from the recording of this video. Now that version that we were talking about was ending in 623.005. Now the newest one that we're talking about today, which has had about 34 fixes. So there was about several bugs, you know, 34 bugs, issues that were reported that they have fixed with this update ending in 623.007, and the update size is 46.93. Now, some of the biggest ones that they're talking about with this update is the fact that some people were just simply not able to do Wi-Fi calling. Some people were also not able to do Android Auto. So if they plugged in their phone to their, their, their vehicle or their car, it would say something like, no installed apps work with this USB accessory. And I'm hoping that most devices was also fixed from the issue that I had, which was if I turned off my phone or if it died and I had to plug it in, or if I just simply restarted the phone or rebooted it, it would go into the bootloader screen. So it was stuck in that bootloader screen. It was a cycle going on and on and on. It would take three to five minutes to get out of, which is me trying to get out of it about 12 to 20 different times switching between turning off the phone, rebooting the phone, restarting the phone, going back to the bootloader menu. It stayed on the screen. It was a pretty big issue. I think it was a pretty big deal. Uh, with this phone right here, I tested it. I restarted it twice, never did it run into the problem. I also uh, restarted it three times and only once did it go into the screen. But after I hit the restart button, it did go back into it. So I feel like they probably kind of fixed it. My phone in particular kind of went into that little bootloader cycle, but at least it wasn't for five to 10 minutes. So we're going to go through, take a look at the release notes because this is a pretty big deal. Again, the official launch is in August, just a few days away. Beta 4 came out July 11th. I was gone. I was on vacation. I wasn't able to shoot this one till around July 16th, July 17th, and I was able to finally cover it. That, be that Beta 4.1, which is fixing all the problems from Beta 4, was released two days ago on July 26th. So taking a look at a few things that were updated with this one, we've already kind of covered the main you know, critical ones. Now, the reason why that there is, you know, 34 or 36 different issues, as you can see, there's been a lot that has been fixed. The reason why is because it's not only just the regular Pixel devices that's a part of this list. There's also brand new ones that was added in because they were adding in the Pixel tablet and the Pixel Fold. Now, there's about six or eight of them specific to the Pixel Fold, so I didn't run into those here. So that is why there is so many. But it's also a very, very important update because if you ran into any problems or more than likely, if you're a part of Android 14 Beta 4, you probably ran into at least one or two of these. So I'm gonna skim through. I'm not gonna specifically read all of them hardcore because if you are a part of the beta program, you just go inside of that feedback application and you're gonna see the screen right here. Now, all I'm talking about is this little app right here. And if you don't see it, just go to the Google store. More than likely, you're gonna find it. It's just the Google feedback you know, application. So uh, search for Android beta feedback, search for that. It should automatically be put onto your phone if you have the beta program. And you just wanna go inside of release notes. Release notes is gonna let you know about the past you know, updates for this beta version here, which is beta four. And it's gonna give you the date and then everything that is brand new. So for some of these that were updated, they fixed an issue where in some cases, after a user performed the system back action to close an app, the app couldn't be launched again until the device was restarted. Now here's the thing, the problem with me is if I tried to restart the phone, it was stuck in the bootloader screen, it was crazy. Fixed an issue with scroll view, that caused the over scroll effect to get stuck after performing a filing gesture. Uh, fixed issues that prevented Wi-Fi calling from working in some cases. So this one right here is a pretty big one. I know a lot of people talked about this. I've seen it on Twitter. I've seen it in Google forums, uh, but yeah. So yeah, your Google calling should hopefully be fixed after this update. 
fixed an update that caused the system to fail to transfer a animatable icon to the client when using. Don't really know exactly what that means. Fixed an issue that prevented notification groups from expanding properly in the notification shade. Fixed an issue that could cause the screen to flicker when launching an app that causes activity embedding. Fixed an issue that could cause the system UI to crash in one app in split screen mode caused by swiping up from the overview screen. Fixed an issue that caused the network status icon to display incorrectly. Uh, some cases after turning on or off one of the SIM cards on a device that had multiple SIMs. Fixed an issue that could cause the system theme to change color after rebooting a device. Now that's the other thing that I also did read too. Some people mentioning that their whole theme or uh, system color changed after they rebooted the device. So they had it set up one way, they turned it off, turned it back on, and now it looked completely different. So it kind of seems like a lot of things was kind of revolving around this whole rebooting of the device. Uh, fixed an issue where lock screen shortcuts sometimes displayed incorrectly when using certain system theme color palettes. Again, another color palette or system theme issue right there. Fixed an issue that could cause the launcher UI to flicker, to flicker when launching an app. Fixed an issue that caused battery share to be interrupted or fail shortly after it was enabled. I mean, there's so many things. Again, I'm not going to read through everything. It looks like there's another problem where they fixed an issue where in some cases, ultra HDR images didn't display correctly in Google Photos. So again, I mean, there's so many. And as you scroll on down here, this is talking about all the stuff for the Pixel tablet, Pixel tablet, Pixel tablet. So it looks like three of them for the Pixel tablet. And then scrolling down here, it looks like we have the Pixel Fold, 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 Fold. Uh, let's see here. It looks like the pixel launcher to crash in some cases, fix system stability issues that cause UI jank in some cases. So because the pixel fold was first introduced with Android 14 beta four, that is why there's a lot of problems again with the fold. This was the first time it was introduced to Android 14. So yeah, I mean, this again is a really big, uh, update for Android 14 beta four. This is Android 14 beta 4.1. And yes, when you sign up, you do, you know, sign and say, okay, Hey, I'm, I know we're going to run into some issues. We're going to run into some problems, but that is why I'm here to let you guys know where we're at you know, where we are with this update. And also if you are on the beta program and maybe you didn't double look to see if there was another update before August came, here was this update. Again, just pushed out a couple days ago. I didn't even know it was there. I did just kind of go through, I opened these phones. I look for updates pretty much every day or every other day. And that was how I was able to find this one sitting right here. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. It looks like there's a lot of problems averted when it came down to this update right here, this update, Android 14, beta 4.1 looks as if there was a lot of issues out there not only just what i was running into but other people ran into as well uh, i'm very glad that they're able to come out not add anything new but just go through fix any of these problems any of these updates again the full official launch is in august and here we are at the very end of july they pushed off a bunch of these fixes this is more of the stable version of Android 14. We're getting there. It's so, so close. Not only will all of the Android Pixel devices have the official launch without you know, signing up for the beta program, you also have all of the Samsung devices soon to actually go into their beta program for Android 14 with Samsung Win UI 6.0. I'm very excited. Can't wait to cover that one as well. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.